Okay guys, welcome to Harry Hughes' first JavaScript in 5 minutes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quiz in JavaScript. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the title, because untitled document looks terrible. So JavaScript, if I can type, JavaScript quiz. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a question. So question 1. Why, what sport does Roger Federer play? Next we're going to have a table, so we can have a neat layout for our uh, radio buttons. So we're going to insert a table. It's going to be two by two. Then we're going to insert a radio button. So insert, form, radio button. We're going to call this A1. Then we're going to copy and paste it into the next one. You see that ID has changed automatically. A1, A2, A3, A4. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check that we can only click one of them and the indicator of this is the name so you can see they're all named radio uh, normally you would change it because it's not really practical but we've only got one set in this tutorial so we click this one and we click this one and it swaps over therefore the radios are working correctly next we're going to have a submit button so insert form button and we're going to call this btn submit now we're going to insert our javascript form script type equals text javascript and we're going to close this off now before we forget or else the whole thing won't work now what we're going to do is we're going to have a function to which ha which occurs when the submit button is pressed so we're going to call this function f submit we're going to close it off and then we're going to uh, put in the event trigger for this so in the buttons form we're going to say on click equals f submit now what we're going to do is put in some answers. So, cricket, diving, he actually plays tennis by the way, just in case you didn't know, and soccer. So you can see, if we click the button next to tennis over here, in our code we're going to see id equals a3. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign a, a JavaScript variable to the radio button with the id of a3. So we're var correct answer equals document dot get element by id a3 then we're going to say if correct answer whoop dot checked is true then what we're going to do is we're going to alert correct and if we go into live view click tennis press submit we get correct. Now if you want to let them know that they're not correct, you're just going to put in a simple else statement. Else alert incorrect. Now when we run this, press soccer, submit, we're incorrect. So that's basically the premise of what you do. What you also want to do is uh, if you're inserting another question, just leave the submit button till last and just have a different variable for each of the correct answers so you could have the IDs as B1, B2 or A5 or A6 if you wanted to and then just another thing which I can show you quickly is if you want to keep track of score you can go var score equals zero up here outside of the submit function and then when we're correct we're going to say score plus plus and then we're going to in the alert say your score is now score then when we run that, click tennis, submit, we get nothing because I left the quotes out. So now when we go into live view and press submit on tennis, we get a score of 1. And if we do it again, we get a score of 2. But obviously that won't work in your completed edition. And just to show you, if we click soccer, incorrect and your score is now zero just to show you live view soccer submit zero and that's javascript in four minutes and 34 seconds with Husey that is how you do a quiz thank you